Hey friends, True Nature Child Care here. I'm out on a walk and I found some red osier dogwood, which is very beautiful. So today we're going to practice making hoops out of flexible sticks that you can find around you. And these are all out of the red osier and I've got one right, right next to me here that's a very beautiful example. And here you can see this one was cut probably by the trail maintenance crew. And then over here it's starting to leaf out and you'll notice that the leaves come out uh, opposite of each other on the stick. There we go and you can see a little bit of redness I hope. Red osier dogwood. They have these beautiful little leaves with kind of striped lines down them. And um, I'm going to show you how to make a hoop with them. If you're harvesting just a couple of notes um, one thing to look out for is that if they're leafing out, you don't really want to cut them because that really can hurt the plant more. It's a very vigorous plant, um, but, but it's better to cut them when the leaves are not growing in the winter time when they're asleep. Um, I was lucky because the trail maintenance crew had cut some a few months ago and they left all the pieces on the ground and those are perfect for my projects. So if you see it leafing out, look around on the ground near the trail and you probably will find some because it's so vigorous that the trail crew will, will have to cut it back in the winter and they'll leave all the pieces right there. Um, you can also use prunings from your yard. Uh, plants like plum or cherry might work well. Um, or willow. Willow's tending to be leafing out about now so I would avoid cutting it if it's leafing out but you, again you might find some on the trail uh, that's already been cut a couple months ago. Um, another one is hazel. I'll try and put some pictures of these in the comments so you can learn to identify them. Hazel around our area in Seattle here, it has kind of a, a fuzzy, uh, furry quality to its new growth and it usually makes a lot of very straight, very strong um, suckers. So those are great to cut for your projects for your hoop making. We're going to make a bunch of hoops and then put them in your house and let them dry out a little bit and then in a few days or a week or so we'll do another video with what you can do with all of those hoops. So here we go. We're going to make one. I've got my red osier dogwood here. I'm just going to set you down. Hopefully you can see okay. You'll need a bit of uh, pruners here to cut off your stick. Make sure that you close the pruners when you're done using them. So here's my stick and I'm just going to bend it around until it touches itself like a snake eating its own tail. And then I'm going to pull through. And do like a shoelace knot. I'm just going to turn this one around the other one until I can grab both ends and pull them a little bit tighter. Just go slow. Do, do, do. And then I've got this with my two ends and now I can take each of my extras and continue bending them around. Another plant that works great for this is holly. If you have some holly, make sure you use gloves and get all those pokey leaves off. Or ivy, English ivy, if you get a little bit of a thicker one, makes a great hoop stick too. So there's my hoop. Try doing this at home, it's super fun. And then hold on to your hoops and we'll play some games and we'll make some crafts out of them. Alright, thanks guys!